Long before war ravaged the lands of Iris, Eris, the god of darkness, joined with Apollon, the god of light, to create the world of mortals. To populate the world, Apollon created the elves, born out of his love and caring for all living things. From Eris, humans were created to be ambitious, anxious, to explore and enjoy the world they lived in. One among many gifts to the people of Iris, the Ethereals were created to oversee use of magic in the world and to teach Arisians how to harness its use to better their lives. Upon finding the world complete and to their favor, Eris and Apollon returned to their realms to rest. Eris to Nephinth, the realm of darkness, and Apollon to Aracel, the realm of light. Occasionally the gods would bless the Arisians with their presence. When visiting, Apollon's presence brought joy and delight to the people, while Eris' presence seemed to bring only woe and darkness in the heart of the Arisians. Eris grew jealous of the people's love for Apollon. He began hating Apollon in a world that they had created. For ages he schemed while building a secret army deep within the depths of his world. Becoming totally engrossed with the task, his visits became less frequent and finally non-existent. Over time, Apollon's visits became irregular as he noticed less rejoicing when he visited the people. At a time when the people of Iris had not seen or heard from either god in many generations, Eris chose to unleash his hordes. From the depths of Nephin, a bridge was created, releasing into Iris thousands of orcs, werewolves, drakes, and other terrible creatures born of hatred and evil. Eris created a dreadful race of enormous size, ferocious, and brute strength known as the Titans. By bonding them to his power flow, they received regenerating abilities and innate talents for battle, making them some of the most fearsome warriors the world has ever seen. Having caught Apollon by surprise, the monstrous army swept across the land, largely unchallenged. Infuriated by Elk's treachery, Apollon responded by imbuing an army of humans, giving them great skill at weapons, speed, and battle tactics. These elite warriors became known as the Knights of Apollon, or garrison in the city of Randall. Both sides put out a call for mages, sorcerers, healers, and rogues to join the battle. For generations, the war continued with tens of thousands perishing by the sword, magic, or bow, most fighting for a cause no longer known beyond their own survival. In the spirit realm, a climatic battle occurred between the gods of light and dark. In his arrogance, Eris challenged Apollon to a duel to control Iris. Apollon accepted the challenge, and the two mighty beings clashed in the Battle of Ages. They fought in levels of power mortals couldn't imagine, incredible amounts of energy being used by each god in hopes of total destruction of the other. They matched blow for blow for what was many a long and bitter year in Iris, until each collapsed, exhausted from the exertion of fighting their equal. Both wounded and spent, they retreated to their respective realms to heal and recuperate. Knowing his bond to the Titans could not be restored, Eris severed his connection with them in order to preserve the power he had left. Apollon, happy the battle accomplished something other than Eris's retreat, left his people with a promise of his return. When their tie was broken with Eris, the Titans on Iris lost their greatest advantage. With the odds more even, the two armies were at a standoff, neither giving ground. After years of not gaining an advantage, warriors of both armies succumbed to fatigue and war as they began to desert. The races became more withdrawn and isolated. Battalions disbanded as humans and elves returned home to rebuild their shattered lives. Eventually, only the Knights of Apollon and the Elves and the Titans returned their structure as standing armies. After centuries of bloodshed, a time of relative peace fell across the land. As news of the new army amassing in the far north and west came, a conference was called inviting members from each class of the risk people to attend. Leaders from among the knights, rogues, mages, healers, and a small faction of rogue titans assembled in Randall to discuss the possible threat. Several days of heated discussion ended with nothing decided. Some members of the consortium voted to attack, while others wanted to wait and see what happened or ignore the threat completely. The lack of direction has left the world of Iris in chaos without any strong alliance among its people. In preparation for a possible invasion, the Knights have increased security around the city and scouts have been sent to determine the threat level while werewolves and other evil creatures approach the city walls and attack citizens with more regularity. Skirmishes occur more frequently as friends turn into foe and groups are attacked by thieves and brigands. Another messenger has been sent to the sorcerers asking for assistance. 
Their reply has been a series of riddles to be solved. A new summons has been issued for those faithful to Apollon to gather in Randall and unite against a possible new threat. Be you Titan, Knight, Mage, Sorcerer, Healer, or Rogue, your friends can become your foes as alliances shift. A call for help has been put forth asking for help to thwart the advances of Eris' forces. Will you support Apollon and all that is good to save the world from devastation? Or will you join Eris' ranks and work towards destroying ours with dreams of personal glory? The choice is yours to make. The life is yours to live. The balance of power is in your hands. Choose wisely and enter into what is the last chaos.